Over tens of thousands have left Auckland City today as Rangi Toto still continues to erupt leaving hundreds dead and thousands either injured or missing. Countless footage has reached the media showing when Rangi Toto erupted. Civil Defence strongly encourages anyone who is still in Auckland to evacuate immediately. Lots of residents have fled to neighbouring cities such as Hamilton and Whangarei. However, the largest city which has been supporting Auckland refugees is Wellington. It is where our news station is currently recording. Flights all around the North Island have been grounded as it is shown that ash from the volcano will damage the engines. This has led many to flee via car or on road. Do not turn off your devices. This is a nationwide alert. If you do not listen, you may be putting the lives of you and your Fano in serious danger. After the Rangitoto eruption which happened only two days ago, Gione have picked up more intense volcanic activity underneath the Auckland volcanic field and it is very possible that more eruptions may occur including some potential new volcanoes within Auckland. These eruptions are predicted to be massive with some estimates with a VEI of 4 or even 5. In simple terms, an eruption similar to that of the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption or the 1902 Mount Pelee eruption may occur within Auckland but as multiple eruptions. As a result, the rest of Auckland has been raised to an alert level 5 and people are not to go within 10 to 40 kilometers of the city. Surrounding areas such as Pukekohe and Helensville will also be evacuated. There are reports that a large eruption may be imminent within the Waitakere Ranges, however, no studies have been taken within that area. Most of Auckland has already been cleared off after the eruption of Rangitoto. However, the New Zealand Defence Force will be present in aiding the remaining 88,000 residents within Auckland. If you refuse to evacuate, you will be faced with certain death. If you don't believe us, check out the Civil Defence website to find out more about how deadly these eruptions are. There is currently 40 minutes before the first eruption occurs so please, get out as soon as you can. While ash is common during an eruption and most typically ashfall, expect that there will be pyroclastic flows which is like an avalanche of hot ash which will kill you instantly if you're exposed to it. Some of these clouds can move as fast as 300 miles an hour. You cannot outrun them. Lava flows will also be present during the eruptions and it will burn anything it touches. You do not have much time. Evacuate now while you still can. The New Zealand government have enacted a mandatory evacuation of the Upper North Island after the devastating eruption of the Waitakere volcano which happened only less than a few hours ago. Residents within Hamilton, Whangarei, Auckland, Tauranga, and the Coromandel are strongly advised to evacuate. Civil Defence urges people to go as far south as they can most notably towards Wellington as refugee camps have been set up there. Air travel is currently restricted so the only way to get to Wellington is either by car or bus. The Prime Minister is expected to address the nation later tonight. The eruption from the Waitakere volcano appeared to have completely destroyed most of West Auckland as well as ash being sent as far as Australia and the Cook Islands. It is currently unknown how many people have been killed but estimates range from 10,000 to at least well over 80,000. New footage has also come to us from volcanic and security cameras of the initial eruption. What appears to be a small explosion just beyond the mountains quickly turns into a large ash cloud. It is claimed by GeoNet that just mere moments after the explosion you're seeing, that's when the entire volcano blew up and the camera went offline. They managed to clip the explosion before the cameras were destroyed. It is now presumed that Auckland is uninhabitable as well as just over 12 new volcanoes have been formed.
This is a nationwide announcement. May we have your attention please. Just two hours ago, the Waitakere volcano has erupted. The eruption has completely decimated West Auckland and has affected Auckland as a whole if not the North Island itself. A large amount of ash has been released from the eruption as well as pyroclastic flows which can move as fast as 400 miles an hour. It is unclear how many people have been killed as a result of this eruption but estimates range from 10,000 to 80,000 fatalities. An order has been set by the New Zealand government as to evacuate as far south as possible for all residents within the North Island. If you are within any of the following cities, it is strongly advised to evacuate towards Wellington or the South Island. Hamilton, Tauranga, Whangarei, New Plymouth, Palmerston North, Gisborne, Napier, Rotorua, Whanganui, and Taupo. Refugee camps are being set up within Wellington, Christchurch, and Queenstown. If you do plan to evacuate, you will need to listen to the following instructions. Do not travel by air. It will be full of ash and as a result, all flights heading near or around the North Island have been cancelled. Travel only by car. It will be more safe. It is strongly recommended to pack a flashlight. Lots of warm layers of clothes. A first aid kit. A battery powered radio. Enough food and water to last you for days. As well as a mask. Gloves, and storm goggles. The ash will have covered most of the North Island by the time you're hearing this announcement which is why it is strongly encouraged to protect yourself and your face. Civil Defence along with the New Zealand Defence Force are planning to escort civilians who can't get out on their own. There are reports that the eruptions within Auckland have triggered a chain event of volcanoes in and around the North Island to erupt. This is unfortunately confirmed to be true. The Waitakere eruption within Auckland has ruptured a magma chamber which is located within the Taupo caldera as well as six other volcanoes. Scientists will keep a close eye on the caldera amid the other volcanoes which will soon to erupt. Current estimates for when the Taupo volcano will erupt are scarce but four of the seven volcanoes have been confirmed to erupt today. This is why it is strongly advised to evacuate now to the South Island while you still can. This announcement will be played for the next few hours. Use that time to, to evacuate. God defend New Zealand. This is just in. Volcanoes around New Zealand are erupting sending ash into the southern hemisphere. People are evacuating right now and it appears that this is the largest volcanic eruption within the 21st century. オークランドの火山地帯内での最近の噴火の後、ニュージーランドでは今日、約4つの火山が噴火しました。報告は不明ですが、この噴火の結果、少なくとも7万人が死亡したと推定されています。Hello. This will be the final civil defense announcement that we will broadcast. We have just a little less than 12 hours before the final volcano erupts, that being of the Taupo caldera. The following eruption will be nothing less of cataclysmic. After the first five minutes after the initial eruption, all towns and cities within a 30 kilometer radius will be destroyed with little chance of survival. If you are still within those areas at the time of the eruption, you will be faced with certain death. The shockwave is expected to reach as far as Sydney and Melbourne within Australia as well as parts of the Cook Islands such as Fiji. 
An earthquake which is expected to be larger than a magnitude 9 will spawn at the epicenter of the eruption and will be felt as far as Christchurch and Kaitaia. The world will be plunged in a global volcanic winter for at least five years as a result of this eruption. Mass starvation will follow as well as hundreds of thousands if not millions dead. Experts at GeoNet have confirmed that with the new data they've recorded from the Taupo caldera and the vast size of the magma chamber below it, the eruption will be larger than that of the Tambora eruption which happened in 1816. The North Island will be rendered as uninhabitable shortly after the eruption as well as parts of the South Island. Pyroclastic flows from the eruption are expected to reach as far as Palmerston North, Gisborne and New Plymouth if not already devastated from the previous eruptions. The New Zealand government have built shelters in and around the southern Alps of the South Island as it will house New Zealand's population for the next five years. Details upon the bunkers are vague but each bunker can house at least approximately 50,000 people at a time. However, there are only 10 bunkers that have been built so far. If you do not manage to make it into the bunkers after the eruption, the next five years will be very rough as ash clouds from the volcano will block the sun for at least eight months straight. If you are caught outside, make sure to wear a mask and glasses at all times as the ash will be very thick in some areas. Also make sure to ration as much food and water as you can as it will be scarce within the upcoming future. Finally, make sure to have a battery powered radio to keep in contact with your family and friends as power will go out very soon. The Prime Minister has already sheltered within the bunkers as well as other government officials. The New Zealand Defence Force will evacuate people into bunkers as well as other international military services. Anyone who is within the North Island must evacuate now. There is nothing else we can do to protect our citizens. We will now play the national anthem. Good luck everyone and God defend New Zealand. Do not turn off your devices. This is a broadcast issued by the Government of Australia and the Department of Defence. Following the eruption of Taupo Caldera which is estimated to have killed at least more than half of New Zealand's population. A large tsunami has spawned from it as a result of the massive earthquakes which have completely destroyed the North Island. Reports are scarce but there are claims that parts of New Zealand are in fact underwater. Ash from the Taupo caldera will reach Australia and will cause a global volcanic winter for the next several years. It is hypothesized that a famine will occur from this as well and we will be seeing the repeat of the 1816 Tambora eruption except more severe. To prepare yourself and your family from this, move away from the coast immediately. The waves will strike Hobart first in about three hours. As a result, mass evacuations are taking place upon the island as well as coastal cities like Sydney and Melbourne. It is believed by experts that the waves will reach at least 5 to 10 kilometres inland in areas such as Victoria. 
make sure to move to high ground at least 200 meters above sea level and as far inland as possible. Certain death will follow if you are still present within the areas in which the tsunami will hit. After the tsunamis have hit, it is very possible that your home will be destroyed. As a result, the government have created refugee camps for the public to live in. It is unclear how long this will last but regardless if you are heading to the refugee camps or not, they are situated on high ground so it is best to go towards there. Air travel will shortly be restricted due to the ash blowing west towards Australia. It will only be necessary to move by car, train, or boat. We will provide further updates on this later. You only have 4 hours from now before the tsunami hits. Evacuate now.